what is up? What's up, y'all? Good morning. Day one. National yeah. Championship. How are we feeling? Good. I'm excited. Me too. It's uh, a little chilly this morning. A little bit. I'm ready to go catch some spotted bass, though, and largemouth. It's going to be... It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Absolutely. A lot of boats. We're boat 188, and we don't have to come in until four o'clock. Yeah, which is good. So. Oh. What's, What's up? up? What's up? What did I say last night? 15 pounds. 15 yeah. pounds. 15. 15 would be awesome. 15 would be nice. Set us up good today. I'm y'all's coach. So I get to sit back and watch. It's gonna drive me absolutely crazy, but it's gonna be so much fun at the same mm -hmm. time. We just gotta grind it out. Yeah. I mean, y'all practiced for three days. Y'all found some good stuff shallow deep the whole the whole nine yards but there's 300 boats in this tournament so yeah. right now you got to get in, in your mind that a lot of the offshore stuff we're going to pull up on is going to be like oh there's a boat on it can't go to that one let's go to the next one. Oh, there's a boat on it then just don't even get worried just yeah. we'll rotate do what we got to do yep let's do it national championship all right honestly guys this is so awesome i'm so proud of rafe and hillary getting here I mean, it's like to fish in the national championship their first year is awesome. I mean, to get here, they had to fish through the entire state of Florida, finish fifth in the state, and now we're here in South Carolina at Lake Hartwell, which is an awesome lake, fishing against 300 and something other teams. So this high school stuff is, is, is pretty special, it's spectacular, and I'm very proud of them. So. I just can't wait for you guys to watch him fish today. This video is going to be pretty cool. Um, you know, as a dad, I'm very proud. And as a competitor, I'm super excited too because I get to sit there and watch Hillary and Rafe compete for something they work really hard for. So, it's going to be good stuff. I don't think I've ever been in a tournament with 300 boats. So. I mean, I've been yeah. in some 115 and 200 boat tournaments, and maybe an open that had like 220. 300. Sun is finally coming up, and they just started launch. Um, boats are already running down the lake, and uh, we're boat 188, so we got a little bit to wait, but it's gonna be it's gonna be good. We're gonna be launching here in a second. It's a bird, it's a plane, oh my Crashing a party, meet me in the sky This is that extraterrestrial vibe Let me know if you feel it, don't keep it aside Tell me who do it like this Up in the air like swish Shoot my shot, don't miss Tick, tick, we got the people say All the way uh -huh. Ain't no town to waste aye, aye, uh. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? All the way uh -huh. Ain't no town to waste Yeah, yeah, uh. can you see me now? To the stars, can you see me now? I've been around the sun, I'm coming down. Yeah. Right now it's just you and me, and we're taking it all away, all away. Can you see me now? I've been around the sun, I'm coming down. Yeah. Right now it's just you and me, and we're taking. Shooting up above Take you straight to the oasis Come and chill with us This is exactly what you wanted It ain't number love Ain't what you thought it was We got 
got the people shake all the way. Uh -huh. Bitty bitty guy. There we go. Get the net, get the net, get the net. Two hands, dude. Two hands with that net. Dude, he must have had that for a minute. I didn't even throw him bite. I know. Ready, ready, ready? It's coming up. Fish, Hillary. Dude, that's a three job, pounder, Bill. dude. That right there. Nice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hook is perfect. Check that out. Dude, oh. look at that. Oh, that is, dude, that's nice. that. I'm so excited right now because that is, that's, that's the size fish that's we need. That's going to count right there. That is going to count. It's going to count. Let's go. We have this little wacky worm set up on a light spinning rod, guys. Light line. About 12 pound. And um, I just kind of skipped it under there. And literally just let it flutter down. Didn't even like move it one second and just let it flutter down. And I may have twitched it probably once and I just let it sit there for another second. And as soon as I pulled tight, I just felt heavy. And I was like, that's either the dock or a fish. And we just had to play it safe, set the hook, and a nice fish came up. That was, that was really cool. I've got a fish, I've got a fish. There you go. Thinker. Alright, our first trip on the shallow fish. Um, he'll caught a pretty good one off that dock over there on a little wacky rig, so that may come into play a little bit more than we thought. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. He went underneath the dog. Don't break your line. Nice, dude. Nice. Awesome. That's another three, right? Yeah. No, it's two and a half. Two and a half. I'm a nervous wreck when I come to film it. I'm like, what can I get into the camera? I'm watching the whole time. I'm like. Yeah. Yeah, you got one. Oh, it's not the main piece of one. No. I, it might be. 
He's fighting like a stinking spot. Yeah. It's a fat one. He's 12. That's a fat one. Right here, right? I think, I think they're, I mean, that just looks good to me. Oh, he's 12. Good. Yep. He's about to be 13. Awesome. 13 he's about to be. <laughs> yeah! Is there a small side? So we just finished up fishing this little shallow area, this little shallow pocket. He caught that nice one, um, kind of boosted us, boosted us up a little bit, and uh, we're about to go check this other pack that we saw in practice. We'll see if we can find something, and then we'll move offshore. Look at all the bait. I know. I almost want to throw that. Rage deal. What? Oh, he's gonna get it right there. Get it. Oh. That was close. Got, Got him. Got him. Shoot. Very good one. Not bad, not bad. Go. That's a good spot. Yeah. That's a good spot. Bang, baby. Let's go. Sometimes you just gotta be patient. Show them a little love. Yeah. Good job, Ray. That's the first spot back I've ever put in a live well. Yeah. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. I saw him like out of the water, like full blown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was They're name. falling in bait back in the boat. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. I don't know if you want to try this, but occasionally I'll just lightly shake the rod as I'm reeling it. Just to get more commotion a little bit? Makes that one give a little bit more noise. Okay. We're like lined up. A, a real light, like a little shaky thing. We're, We're lined up. up good. There we go. There we go. Got him? Yep. Very lightly though. I don't think that's a good one. He might be a keeper though. I might just flip this little guy. I'm just gonna flip him. Yeah. Just stay lined up. Keeper, Dad, watch out. I don't think that's gonna be keep, but we'll test it, see what happens. I don't know. It's gonna be close. Not big enough. Dude, I can't even, like, I can't even tell you. I couldn't. Ugh, dude. He makes it, y'all, like, by a smidge. Um. We'll, we're gonna have to call that one, but that is our fifth fish. So that's good. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Right there, straight.
Yep. Oh my gosh, dude. That was a good blow up. That was a good blow up. That was a good blow up. He's shaking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen the riser like splashing on the top of the riser. Yeah. <laughs> like, went. He's about to chill. <sighs> yeah. Nice. They're all falling on him, too. I'm gonna net him and grab my wacky rig and drop him in the water. <laughs> yeah. I know. He's right here. As soon as he comes up. Yep. Ready? Bang, baby. Good one. Another good one. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Let's go. That was a really good blow up. <laughs> That'll go. Pretty good one, a little fatty. I need something a little bit bigger, but yeah, a little fatty. That gives us a fish on the limit. Yep. We're gonna go call that yeah. crap. There he is. All right, first call. Bye, right, buddy. Go grow bigger, please. They're gonna, they're gonna eat that one. Yeah, that's a good cast. Perfect cast. Perfect cast. Here they yeah. come. Here they come. They were coming. Oh, yes, sir. Quite easy. Oh, my God. We're dang hooked up. Oh, my gosh. Good fish. Yep. Yep. Oh, dude, he guarded. Mm. <sighs> nice. That'll call that, that small one. Making a call. That one goes back. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Holy crap. That's a good one. Watch my line. It might not cool. It might not cool, but. Ready? Yep. Oh. Perfect. Here. Yep. All right, y'all. So we just made our second offshore hit. Did pretty good. Up to up ourselves up in the in the weights. So that's really good. We're gonna go shallow real quick and uh, just see if we can find some more fish. To try and call those those spots in there. Let's do it. There's bait fish under this dock right here. Oh, old dink. Stupid bluegill. There was bait fish under there. Pretty sure my line's taking off. Yep, oh, yeah. yep, yep, yep. Got it. Not little. Little, yeah. Just keep fishing. Dude, where's your mama at? Where's your mama? You choked it, bruh. I got you, little guy. Here, go back to your home. Good day. I mean, you know, it's it's hard to say. I'm sure there's some 17s. I'm sure there's some 16s. Let's see what happens. You know, I, I think we could have had a better bag today. We had at least four what we think are big fish blow up. Just I mean, just annihilate it. And just just didn't hook them. So a couple places didn't work out. A couple wolf pack fish weren't there. If they show up, 16, 17 pounds automatic. If I roll on there and there's wolf packing, it's it's 
it's too late. Done. So. Got it, my friend. Make it Let's go get it back. We got to weigh our bass. We did miss a couple of fish. That probably would have set us up uh, to be in the teens, actually. But if we keep this pace and the weather works out Saturday, we'll be straight. We'll be good. It's about time this chick showed up. I had to go to the bathroom, fix my hair. No, she didn't. No, she, she didn't want to stand out here. There's an AC bathroom. She went and like took a it nap. It was pretty nice in there, actually. She took like a 10 minute nap. I really did. Mm -hmm. So, if I can bring a tournament, then we can get a finish. Don't, oh my gosh. Whoa. Dad! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we're good. My shoes are fine. <laughs> Grab that other large drum. Sixth place. Reach up to here and grab a couple of those. 14 pounds, two ounces. Pickens High School out of South Carolina. Come on up, Carter and James. They got five out of Hendrick County Bass Masters, Florida. Rafe Sexton, Hillary Sue Martin, a five bass limit right there from Hendrick County, all the way down from Clewiston, Florida. Hillary and Rafe Sexton, five in the bag today. 11 pounds, 11 ounces. Hold a couple of those up all the way to 20th place. All right, just got the ticket. Uh, just gave the fish back to the lab well people. And uh, we got 11, 11. We had one fish that's a little unhealthy, so it cost us like four ounces or so. Um, but you know what? I think it's a good start for day one. We did what we did. We tried our best. I think if we capitalize on some of the things that we missed today, we can we can get a better bag tomorrow, y'all. And of course, when the, le the weather changes, hopefully it gets a little bit more sunny, we can capitalize on those big fish too and uh, really get a good bag. finished rigging up the last rod. Today was a pretty good start for day one. 11-11, we're sitting in 31st right now, so we really need to capitalize on some things tomorrow to get that big bag and uh, hopefully be chilling in the top 12 because that'll be the cut. Oh, what's up? Thanks for joining us. I washed all the stank off. I think y'all did good. So as, as your coach, as your coach, I think y'all did fantastic. Um, there's always room for improvement, right? Yeah. So room for improvement I feel like the last couple hours or maybe three hours of the day was a little not as efficient as we could have been or focused like pep in your step that's what we needed there like we we just got by the last three hours of the day and and I know we didn't get bites and that hurts when I mean, you don't get bites you kind of you're going through the motions, but you're not, you just need a little pep. So tomorrow, we started strong, we need to finish strong. That's what needs to be our motto. Yep. Start strong, finish strong. We are starting strong and we kind of finished weak. Now, obviously, the fish didn't cooperate, we missed some fish, but all that plays into a part of it. Like, it's just like, when you have a little pep in your step and you're just like hungry, like we were this morning, a couple more fish could have gotten the boat. A couple more fish in the boat, a couple more pounds. We're in a wave different. Game changing. Game changing. Deal. Yes. So as your coach, we need nourishment. So that means it's dinner time. So we can we can start strong. We can finish strong. Oh yeah. yeah that's right. See ya. Bang! You just think and knocked them out. Holy crap! We'll see you all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is now day two of the Bassmaster High School National Championship, and uh, y'all. I'm really nervous right now because we're sitting in 31st and the weights are really close. Guys, this lake is fishing pretty tough right now and the weights are pretty low and they're all like just, they're close. So we are we could make this happen. It's a possibility. Um, but yeah, today is cut day. We just got to be able to get into uh, at least 12th place. So we got to bump up there to make championship Sunday and uh, make something happen. So thank you. Waters. Yep. Some food. 
What do you think we should do this morning? Like, t tell me what y'all are thinking. Like, what's your gut? I mean, we that's should what's go. important to figure out here. It's like you gotta follow your gut. I'm liking a shallow idea. We need to go shallow first. Yeah. yeah. To make yeah. sure the fish don't pull off during the day and go somewhere. Yeah. Go deep once the yeah. sun gets up or something. And see if they come up and roll. Because those fish offshore are having a hard time wanting to come up in the morning. Early they're like not that. even there. The it's fish, just like the fish in the like, morning is not even there. Like they don't the even. Yeah, they have. Like, it's like no action yeah. whatsoever. So I think if we can fish efficiently and effectively in those pockets where we saw those roamers, mm -hmm. top water obviously. You know, in the morning we can cover water a little quicker throwing top water, keep a worm in our hand underneath the docks like we did yesterday morning. But I, I mean, I, I think I think that's a good plan. Yeah. And here's the deal: if if we if if those fish show up at all in there, a couple of wolf packs pop up or whatever. Those, that's the weight we need. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, yeah. those, those, we're not dealing with one pounders. We're dealing with three and four pounders. Yeah. So we're, we're going to get bites throughout the day, and just stay free and clear in your head, and don't get upset. Everybody did really good yesterday. So. tournament this tournament is probably as a young angler the biggest tournament that you could be a part of and winning this tournament would be absolutely amazing especially at 17 years old against the 314 boat field and I hope today's moving day we got a lot of stuff to pack up you know I know they've got butterflies I mean you can you can definitely feel it you know it's like yesterday we pulled up and it's a sea of lights I mean like I mean, I've been fishing tournaments for 20 years. I've never seen that many boats in an event. But for me to sit here and watch every single cast, every move, you know, it's special, really. You know, it's it's a it's a different something I'm not used to, but something I truly enjoy. Like I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about being a captain this year, being such a hardcore fisherman that I am. But watching them and just and just the excitement, it's just awesome. Today they've got a lot of work ahead of them. You know, we've got to make good decisions on the water today. Um, it, it, there's a lot of, there's a lot of variables. And it's like what I'm trying to instill in them is to be patient and just take it one cast at a time and just build a bag. Just build a bag throughout the day. And that's exactly what we're going to have to do today. I think if we catch 12 or 13 pounds, maybe 13, 14 pounds, I think we got a shot at this thing. But we, we definitely need to make a big move. 16, 17 pound pack would be awesome. It's, it's, it's possible. Those fish are there. We just gotta get them in the boat. They're on a boat. What are they on? 106. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I'm like shaking right now. I'm like excited shaking right now. I'm like, ha like, I'm like, I'm just ready. I'm ready to go catch some fish. See what happens. And whatever happens, I will say, listen, 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 listen. Whatever happens, it doesn't matter. All glory to God, always, always. All glory to God. We're here, we made it to nationals. It's the best thing that could happen to both of us. Like Rafe said, being in a young high school angler, this is probably one of the best tournaments that you can be in. 
and uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a really big deal. So all glory to God. It's just like the Bassmasters Classic. I was standing right up there at the Bassmasters Classic, yeah. and now we're sitting right down yeah. here. We're it's sitting like, up there, waiting on Dad, watching like, him come in. Now we're like, what is it? Like six times as big. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Literally. Thank God we made it. Yeah. the grind for some time now Facts. hit a couple walls that's a time out <laughs> grateful for the ups and the downs now keep moving on yeah keep moving on yeah 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 started off with the local shows now it's google maps Woo. overseas i couldn't speak the language had to google that yeah all the numbers looking so low couldn't do the math yeah. then god came and took it took it took it took it to the max yeah Took some losses, I done took some losses I was about to give it up, but wifey told me trust the process Benja hit me with the blueprint, four years later now I'm popping Now the team ain't never stopping, we ain't got no other options Ooh, sign with Amplify, sign with Amplify Now we on a rise, now we on a rise Ain't wasting no time, ain't wasting no time You literally said it. You literally said it. That was so funny. That was funny. Show with your hand stake you up to that ball. Yeah. So I'm about to rig up this um, chrome walker popper I had on a bluegill one before, and it just seems to not be getting the bites. And I remember getting some bites on the chrome practice. The chrome on the belly, a little black on the top, um, and it was doing the job during practice. So we're gonna tie it back on. going on in the shallow area right now so we are going to go offshore test out some fish see if there are any active right now you know it's always worth a shot so let's just see what happens hopefully get a limit on a pile that would be awesome there's another wander the, the shimano one the oh there we go there we go you got one yeah Daddy? Yeah, missed it though. All right, let it get back down. I think I need to let him eat it longer. Those are baby ticks, dude. Well, we got one all over you. I have one. Big blob. Yeah, I have one. You got one? Yep. Hit him. He keeps missing it. Here they go. There we go. Yeah. I don't even know how big this thing is. Feels pretty dang small. I don't know if that'll go. I bet he does. He's a little baby. It's alright. Hey, it's alright. It's momentum. It's momentum. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> he barely made it. <laughs> like, I'm talking, doesn't make it if you put the tail at a different angle. Be careful, he might go through the drain. Yeah, Shoot, plug the drain up. Go out of and see if you can get him to ride. Big ass fish right there. Oh! 
Look, Lola, look at the bait fish. Come. Look at this dude, dude, dude. Oh, what is the riser? My god. That's so crazy, dude. Are those bass? Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh. That's one. 100%. Oh. Bro. That feels exactly. Sorry, dude. It feels like a hit. I know. I'm telling you, it feels like a hit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And it was right there. I threw it exactly where they blew up, so I just like totally thought it was a fish. Oh, dude. Oh, they I'm going crazy oh, right now. I don't know if it's gonna. Oh, I see it. Yeah. There it is. Hold on. One went down on it. Yeah. I don't either. Let's go shallow for a little while yeah. and we'll try them again later. I'm trying to go shallow. Oh, dude! Good one was freaking just chasing it. Drop it down. Holy crap. Throw it back out there or whatever. I need to throw it back. How good? It was like a two pounder. Spot? Yes. That was. That's ridiculous. He's chasing it up. There he is. There he is. Get him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I think that's a good one. Let's keep it tight. Came off, didn't it? No, he didn't. Right, no. Keep your rod bent. That's a good one, I'm pretty sure. That's a good one. Bang, baby. Good job. Let's go. Nice. That'll help a little bit. Heck yeah. That's the one that followed it up, 100%. <laughs> so, awesome. I'm throwing this drop shot right now, and there's some cane right out front. And uh, these fish seem to have a hard time coming up on it, so I've been throwing it down there and just shaking it real kind of hard and stuff. And they'll come up to it, but this one followed it back up. We were literally about to dip, and I saw him fall it back up, so we just dropped it straight back down, and then he launched it again. It was cool. Ooh. Okay. Got there he is. Got him. Ooh, this one feels pretty good. Looks like you got him inside of that noggin. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think he is a little. Well, he's got followers. I got this. I got yeah. it. I got it. You're good. Go, go, go. You got him. That looks like a keeper. Possibly. He's going to be close. The hook's going to shoot out and hit me. Seems nicer. No. Came off. Yeah. It's uh. oh. a four to defeat right there. There was bait over there, and a little one came up and hit it, and missed it, and a better fish came up and ate it. Just one of those things. Dang it. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Ball it down, or tried. Got one looking at it. Yeah, I do have fish. Oh, it's just a good one. Is that that thing choked? I'm, I couldn't feel it yet. Okay. 
Nice. Ah, he's having two bits. Oh, it's not choked at all. Sound keeper. Such a strange deal, guys. It's like we're stuck in this twilight zone. Let's run back farther. There's a couple more piles back in here by this boat ramp. Yeah. They're biting the drop shot, but man, it's just like. We've got uh, we got two minutes to be in. We gotta go. That was brutal. But you know, it really it really sucks that we didn't have that we didn't catch them. It really didn't have any opportunities. I missed one. Uh, we had a lot of fish come up and just not eat. But overall, more than anything, we learned a lot. A whole you know? lot. And it, I mean, my goodness, a whole lot of learning. So maybe in a future tournament when it's tough out here, we'll do a whole lot better. It's a winner take all deal. And if you can't win, you might as well learn a bunch of stuff. So I'm glad that they learned how to do it. They have confidence how to fish offshore. Yeah. Even though we weren't on the winning bite, they learned a ton, and that's what it's about. You know, I wish I wish it was better, but I, I also don't really regret how it was because, again, it's a learning experience, and it was honestly, it was tough, but it was fun. Like, I honestly, like, I enjoyed this week being here. New place, new water. Really, like, my first time fishing offshore, like, hardcore like that, I don't do that a whole lot. You know, I'm from South Florida, fishing shallow waters all the time, so this was, this was a good time. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was rough, and, I, and and you know that. But it was fun. It was a good time. We learned a lot, and. Um, and it, it was fun to be here. The whole week, the whole week was a good week. It really was. Uh, got to go weigh our three. We only got three. We got to go weigh them in. We got not going to stop the boat, sadly, but, but let's see. That little guy. Yeah, So, we got the fish in the bag. Only three. Kind of stinks, but um, we're here. Listen, I'm being for real, y'all. I'm just excited to be at the national championship. Like, that is literally like the top. Like that. That was my goal for this year. Especially fishing, like first time fishing in tournaments like this. It's pretty stinking cool. I'm happy about it. Hendrick County Bass Masters out of Florida, Ray Sexton and Hillary Sue Martin weighed in 11, 11 yesterday, 11 pounds, 11 ounces. Come on over here in the middle, 11 pounds, 11 ounces, three fish in the bag today. For three pounds, 12 ounces, 12, uh, two day total weight, 15 pounds, seven ounces, Ray. Not gonna end up the way you wanted to right now. I mean, you know, it's, it's fishing, but just missed it by a mark. I mean, did we just make some changes? The fish run out, what happened? You know, I, I think that we just kind of ran out of fish. It wasn't that, not that we were out of fish. They just didn't really start committing. Our offshore game was a little bit weak. But, uh, you know, I just want to say thank you to my parents for making it possible, Mr. Scott, for being our boat captain, and, and Bahio, because I don't think I could have done it without a good pair of sunglasses. Good job. Hillary, first year on the Florida Bass Nation Trail, teamed up with Ray Sexton, got a club going down there in Hendry County, Clewis and Florida. Thank you so much. What does it mean to be here fishing against the best anglers in the country? Oh, well, it means everything. I I love fishing Florida Bass Nation, you know, it was first, first year, uh, made it to the national championship. So, you know what? I'm happy to be here. All glory to God, for sure. Absolutely. Is mom or grandma here? So if they're not here, are they watching? They are watching. And All right, so go ahead and tell them in the camera. Thank you for watching. Love y'all. There you go. Good job. Awesome job. Thank you, guys. Y'all, it started raining as soon as we weighed in, so we got to get these fish in the water. Right here. Right here. So, it was a long day, and, it, and today actually ended our season. 
we, yeah. We fished, yeah. We fished, uh, I think it was like nine or ten tournaments. Yeah. Right? Yeah, nine or ten. And then qualified for national tournament, a bonus yeah. tournament. First. And uh, first season. we did our first season together. First season together. Fun. I yep. really enjoyed it. It was yeah, a good time. Yeah, same. And now, since we didn't make the cut, we get to stay up late and eat all 37 donuts that we have. <laughs> yeah. Which dozen do you want? Yeah, I'll take this. Okay, I, like this I got one. this one. Yeah. yeah. But, man. You know, Today hasn't warmed it though. It wasn't really warm. My goodness, day. we're all burnt. Like, look at this. We're, we're all, all like we're, red. We, we look like a stinking lobster right now. We are. But, it was, it was a good, good season. Good season. I'm telling you, like, I'm really excited for next season too. Like, and we only got a month. Yep, only got a month. Up. And maybe like, we'll even qualify like again. I hope we qualify. I hope we win it. I yeah. Hope, I hope we win a couple tournaments this year. It's it's in sight. Natty win would be nice. That, that would, would be, be cool. nice. Yeah. But I really enjoyed fishing with you. It's I been a too. great time. It was a good Let's year. do it. Let's go.